Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to fetch data using Oxios client. If you haven't watched our previous video about React, then please go and watch it. Link in the description. Let's first demo whatever we developed till now. Let's open README the file of Spring Boot project. See here all types of request formats are available. Let's try the first one. See this is working. So we are going to execute this get request and show this response in the book list table. I hope you got the idea whatever we are going to develop. But before this let's see what is Oxios in React. Oxios is a library that helps us make HTTP requests to external resources. Oxios is promise based and thus we can take advantage of async and await for more readable asynchronous code. Oxios supports methods like, head, get, post, put, delete, patch, and options. Here is the npm command to install Oxios. npm install Oxios. Let's search Oxios React. Let's open this GitHub link. Open this npmjs.com also. See here you can get enough information about Oxios. Let's install Oxios using this command. This page also you can refer for more information about Oxios. If you use this plugin then implementation of remote request is completely different, that we will see in some other video. This time let's focus on Oxios. Stop the server first. Now let's execute the command. Installed successfully. Now let's run again. See no error server started successfully. See everything is working like before. Now let's see how to consume book rest API get request using Oxios. Let's open book list JS file. First, let's increase the font. Now let's import the Oxios. First, let's create the constructor and add the required code. Here let's create the state variable and inside that create book array. Now let's create component did mount method. Before going further let's see what is component did mount. It is one of the component lifecycle methods. Here are some lifecycle methods. Constructor, the constructor for a React component is called before it is mounted. Render. The render method is the only required method in a class component. Component did mount dash this method is invoked immediately after a component is mounted, inserted into the tree. Component did update dash this method is invoked immediately after updating occurs. Component will unmount dash this method is called when a component is being removed from DOM. Now I think we got enough idea about this method. Now let's call get method of Oxios. Here pass the book rest API URL. Now capture the response. Let's print this data in the console. See it is very simple. Let's try now and we'll see that response is printing or not when I click on bookless menu. Open the browser console. Let's hit the bookless menu. Oops giving some error. Let's fix this first. So here error is like curse because now we are calling the REST API using React application so we need to add a cross origin annotation in book REST API entry point controller class. Let's see how to do that. Open resource class. Not this one open implementation class. Here let's add cross origin annotation. In URL let's pass React Application URL. 
let's import cross origin also. That's it, let's run and see is everything working or not. Oops giving some error. Ok, so here instead of origin it must be origin. Let's run again. Server started successfully. See this get request is working fine, now let's click on book list again. See it's returning an array, let's check what is inside this array, see here is the data, ok. Now we have the response let's see how to display this data in the book list table. See we created book array earlier, now we will add this response data in book array, let's see how to do that. So using arrow function we are going to assign response data to book array, and this we are going to achieve using set state method. Now let's print the book array length. So here expectation is one book available. Let's check one is printing or not. See it's not printing. That means whatever response related code which we remove that we need then only it will work. Let's add that code also. Now let's try again, see now 1 is printing. Now let's add a simple condition like if there is no book then it must print no book available message otherwise it should print all the books. See the logic is very simple. Here we are going to use ternary operation. For else case we will iterate the books array using the map function. Now using arrow function we will print all the book one by one. In tr also we need to add key otherwise it will throw some warning. So let's add key as book id. Now add all the fields and td. First, let's check title is printing or not. See it's printing. Now let's add all the columns. See it's printing properly. Now let's add actions also like edit and delete button. But before that let's add cover photo also before the title. So here we will use the image component. Need to import this. In src let's add book cover photo url. Add a class for rounded circle. Add some width and height. Let's check now. See it's showing properly. Now let's add edit and delete button also. Later we'll add the functionality also. There are the components called button group and button so using that we are going to show edit and delete button. Let's see how to do that. Import this component. And button component also. Let's add font awesome icons for edit and delete. That's it, let's check now. See it is looking perfect.
Let's review whatever we added till now. Here let's add one simple modification so instead of calling get method inside component did mount. Let's move it outside and call newly method inside this mount method. Now everything is perfect, let's check quickly. See it is working fine. I hope you learned something from this video. In the next video, we will see how to save data using add book form. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here is the repository. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.